Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we sample some tasty shawarma at downtown's Bucharest Grill, cruise the Detroit River aboard the Ovation Yacht, and then we get ready for summer at the Metro Park, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Park Avenue in downtown Detroit, just a block west of Woodward, right behind the Fox Theater. Now, Detroit's Park Avenue has some of the hippest places in town to hang out at. Like right behind me, we've got the Town Pump Tavern, right at the corner of Park and Montcalm. This is one of the most popular watering holes in town with great music, and they serve up some of the best homemade pizza around. And right across the street, the Centaur Bar offers three levels of fun, a martini heaven, and an excellent dining menu. Just a little further down Park Ave is Cliff Bells, and with their smooth jazz nights and a menu just as cool, this is a must-see. But today we're going to focus on another one of these neighborhood gems, the Bucharest Grill, right here at the corner of Park Avenue and Elizabeth. We don't live near this place. We live 50 miles away in, you know, like Clinton, Clinton Township, Township. Mm -hmm. and every time we pass this area, we have to stop in and get their chicken shawarma. It's excellent. So we had to bring our kids down here and have them try it out too. It's their first time and they loved it too. That's so cool. You drive 50 miles to come eat at this restaurant. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so here we are inside of the Bucharest Grill. Now don't be fooled by its small size because here's the beauty of it. You order here, they have a couple booths, but then what you do is you take your sandwich, you take your drink, and you come right over here to the park bar. It's all connected. Grab a seat, have a drink, it all works together. Nathan, steady, steady stream of traffic. I mean, this is like the place to come downtown for what, your shawarma, you've got gourmet hot dogs. Oh, yeah, everything. When late night eats are open till two. You know, people just keep coming and coming and coming. So what is it that you think makes your shawarma sandwich so unique? Well, I mean, as you'll see right here, you know, we got the shawarma, that's the chicken on the grill. Yeah. But we don't have one of those big loaves like most other shawarma places do. You know, we're not knocking it off on the pita bread or anything like that. It's all fresh in our own special marinade and coupled with our magic garlic sauce that you just can't get enough of. Magic garlic Absolutely. sauce. I like the sound of that. So you've got like an assembly line going, getting the shawarmas out the door, keeping up with the demand back here. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, right now we're uh, putting together, these are our chicken salads. Each one of them makes four huge chicken breasts on there. And that one on the end that he's making, that's going to be a blue fresh shawarma. That has the cabbage salad and a handful of french fries actually in the sandwich. It sounds kind of weird at first, but it's my favorite. It's the best one we got. Wait a minute. It's got french fries? You oh. said in the sandwich? In the sandwich. Oh, yeah, definitely. We give you all the lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles. Yeah, I'm noticing that they are pretty, they're pretty robust. They're not oh, the yeah. skinny sandwiches that I've had. We sell them by the six pack, in fact. Especially good for, you know, going to Tigers games and stuff like that. People just walk down the street with it because it's just got a handle. Oh, yeah, because it comes in this cute little, look at this, look at this. It comes in this cute little six-pack container. So besides the chicken shawarma, you guys offer a beef shawarma? Yep, a beef shawarma. It's very good. It's a little sweet. There's a little bit of cinnamon in the marinade. Mm. And personally, I think it works very well in the Bucharest mm. shawarma, which the cabbage salad has some vinegar in there, so you get, like, the sweet and sour combo. Ooh. It's very good. He's getting ready to put the, the cabbage on the grill for the ham tramic. So this is for one of your gourmet dogs. Yeah. So this is the ham tramic dog. That's a, the kielbasa. And then we top it off with a braised red cabbage, a little bit of bacon for flavor, the coup de gras, just a tad spicy mustard. Mm. And then comes our Chicago dog, and that's definitely the dog with the most fixings. Tomatoes, um, pickles, onions, relish, and mustard. A little bit of sport peppers. This is like the everything dog. Oh, yeah. Definitely a knife and fork dog. So Nathan, when we dine in, yep. we take it from there. Oh, well, you don't even have to take it yourself. You actually bring it out to you. In fact, you just come in here into the beautiful park bar, 
you know, it's a nice round bar. These chairs are excellent. They, the bottom is swivel, but not the back, so you don't knock it into anybody. You know, you sit wherever you'd like and you just come in and have fun. This is a gorgeous bar. I love the round. I love all the wood in here. We don't really, they don't really offer any bottles of beer. We just have a big list of uh, drafts and everything like that. Some local, some imports. So I'm going to start with this beauty here. This is the That's ham. That's the ham tramic. Yeah. Ham tramic again. All right. Kind of messy. It's a big yeah, dog. Definitely a nice That's okay. I have a big mouth. I'm, I'm not going to do this. Oh. <laughs> Big bite. This is delicious. Oh, it's one of my favorites. The coleslaw in here. Yeah. The cabbage, the mm -hmm. bacon. We put Marinated. a little bit of that shawarma garlic in there mm -hmm. too, just to give it that nice extra punch. Look how big it is. It's just, it's not a hot dog. It's, no, it's, it's the this gourmet is a, dogs. They're yeah. huge. They're for adults. <laughs> the adult hot dog. Yeah, you pointed it so eloquently. And then this, this is, one. That's the Chicago. This is like, this is the everything dog. Yeah. Like, <laughs> So messy, but it's so good. It it's is. worth it. Not a first date dog, huh? No, no. <laughs> Unless you're pretty confident. Go for it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Yeah. Now this is something. Okay. okay. What do we have in here? We've got your a little bit of pork, a little bit of uh, beef, rice, steamed tomatoes, green pepper, and then here of course our touch is the sour cream on the side. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. That's yummy. It is. <laughs> it just makes it nice and creamy. Mm, I love the sour cream. Nice punch to it. Nice pick. Fabulous. And of course, the, the shawarma, absolutely. which is just, you knock it out of the park with the yep. shawarmas I hear, right? That's, that's what they tell us. And then yours has no tomatoes, of course. There's usually tomato in there. You got your chicken, your garlic, pickles, lettuce, everything good. Now the piece de resistance is... Oh, it's so juicy. Oh, yeah. Like I said, you know, all our chicken's fresh. Mm, I'm it's hoping not... all the flavors work together. Okay. And we don't have it coming off those dry loaves or anything like that, and you're getting the garlic, too. Wow. That is, I can't believe it. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, it's like shawarma takes it up to a whole other level. Absolutely. We sell the most of them, and that's the reason why. And just like that, we've got some beers. Absolutely. You know, you just need something nice, cold, and refreshing to wash down that shawarma. You can grab a drink here first, go order food, go order food, come over here and have a drink. You all kind of work together you can in also, harmony. You can even order from the bar and have them both at the same time. Hey, Nathan, I want to thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> thank you for coming by. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get back to my shawarma and my cold beer, and you've got to try this. The Bucharest Grill, the Park Park, just down the road from Comerica Park, and they are knocking it out of the park with this wonderful shawarma sandwich. Cheers. in the deep. Metro Detroit is Michigan's water wonderland, and if you're looking for a great excursion to take advantage of all of our wonderful lakes, then you've got to get on board the Infinity Ovation Yacht Charter. the drinks, the food, and the party begins before you even set sail. The minute you get on board, they're ready to take good care of you. Well, Steve, this is a beautiful yacht we're on. Thank Tell you. me Thank about you. the Ovation. We built the Ovation back in 2005 after operating the Infinity, our smaller vessel, mm -hmm. uh, for 20 years. 
and uh, we had such a high demand for larger parties above the 150 capacity the Infinity has that uh, we built the Ovation, which holds up to 300 guests. 300. So, uh, larger weddings, larger fundraisers, larger um, corporate events and meetings, things like that. Now, where do you where do you dock from? I mean, it's not always the Detroit River. Our our home dock is based out of St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Okay. Um, but since the riverfront development uh, along the Detroit River from bridge to bridge, uh, the Detroit Riverfront Conservancy has built three docks in front of the Renaissance Center mm -hmm. uh, at Rivard Plaza by the Carousel and um, over at Joseph Campos. It's awesome to see there's like a huge demand for downtown Detroit stuff, you know. So you primarily private events, but... It's open to exclusive groups that have shown an interest in chartering with us okay. or uh, groups like the Convention and Visitor Bureau folks, the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce folks. Okay. Um, but it is open to the general public as well. But we try and target those people so Maybe that we can showcase. They, if they don't have 300 people, that exactly. way they can all kind of experience People have it. come to us and say, look, we, we, we charter the yachts every year yeah. for 250 people, but we want to bring 20 people out and you don't do anything public. So we put together a summer cruise series, okay. um, usually once a month, and each mm -hmm. one has a theme. Um, maybe Havana Nights, Disco in the D, a Mother's Day brunch, uh, Motown, things like that. So oh, cool. And tonight is Havana Nights, right? Tonight's Havana Nights. So we've got three levels ahead of us to take a tour of, right? Yep, All right. absolutely. Let's start at the, uh, we're on the bow now, so we might as well work our way back and up. Okay. okay. Food stations. You know, it's it's funny. A lot of people when they come on for weddings and whatnot, they're looking for that table to sit down at yeah. for like the four hours. Right. And then they realize there's food stations. There's different atmospheres on each level. Oh, that's a neat twist on it. Yeah. Exactly. So up here at the second level, you've got the couches, a little more comfortable. This is a little more loungy. This is what we call the Admiral's Lounge. So there's couches. We try to make it more of a living room with the bar. So the third floor, you've got the entertainment. Absolutely. We've got uh, Grupo Escobar, which is a Cuban band, mm -hmm. obviously with the theme. So we're in the galley where the uh, magic of the food happens. This is uh, actually, you're right, this is where the magic happens. We're actually known for our food more than we are the yachts itself, believe it or not. We actually have a co uh, commercial galley on this deck and on the second deck. We have some of the best talent, obviously, Tommy and uh, Eric here. and. Uh, they do everything in these little areas. We well, feed 300 people. Smells wonderful. Well, hi, Jackie. Hi, how are you? Good. So what have we got going on here? Well, this evening, um, our theme is Havana Nights, so we wanted to have something that had some Latin inspiration to it. We have our beef tenderloin that's carved to order, and they've added a new sauce, a chimichurri sauce, which is herbs and peppers and onions and garlic. On our uh, vegetarian side, we have our grilled vegetables. Again, something that's summery, something that's available for vegetarians. And colorful. Color. And this evening, we have our Idaho potato tortoise station, which is thinly sliced potatoes, and they layer them with Gruyere cheese and herbs and garlic and cream. They bake them and they serve them with different sauces that they're making to order for our guests. But uh, definitely the hot item for the night, yes. Oh, I'm not gonna go. Oh my goodness, that is yummy. Okay, so tying in with the evening's flair. Mm, that's very good too. Oh, a little kick at the end, very yep. good. These veggies are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Garlic. Garlic, um, balsamic vinaigrette. Very yummy. Yeah. Well, Jackie, this was fabulous, but I know we've got dessert to look forward to as well. Yes, we do, and our dessert is actually going to travel throughout the yacht tonight. Thank you guys both so much. I think I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the cruise. Have some fun. Sarnia traffic, Sarnia traffic. This is the motor vessel ovation. Over. If you want to find out who's manning the boat, we talked to the man himself, Captain Mel. So oh, tell me, how, how is it to drive this big of a yacht? Well, I think it's pretty exciting, especially on wonderful nights like this. And uh, right in front of us here is a beautiful provincial park that's called Peach Island, or the Canadians say Pesh, Pesh oh, Island. Okay. And then we're going to go out into Lake St. Clair okay. and then come back around mm -hmm. through the Detroit side of the river and uh, enjoy the spectacular sights of all the big buildings downtown. Well, Captain Mel, thank you for letting me come and giving me an overview of the bridge. Bronca, yeah. it was great having you aboard here and continue enjoying and all the festivities. And as night comes, we have the twinkling lights of the Ambassador Bridge to look forward to. I'm on my way to check out some of the live entertainment upstairs.
excellent, deserves for great, and we would do it again. You came from Harrisville, Michigan? Yes, yeah. I did, all the way from Harrisville to come to have a good time. Oh my God, it's been so wonderful. You gotta do little dancing. <laughs> I love the ovation. Yes, I do. So how did you enjoy Havana Nights aboard the ovation? It was spectacular. One of the best ways to see the river, Detroit. Well, Jackie, I'm glad I caught up with you again. Because Perfect timing. These desserts look scrumptious, but I want to know what they are. Well, these are made by our own pastry chef. We have our key lime pie. This is our famous chocolate cookie dough truffle. Ooh, yum. This one, again, with the Latin-inspired evening, we have our Malibu truffle. We have our raspberry cheesecake, and then, of course, we have our banana mousse tart. Yeah. Well, since this one is keeping in theme with the, with the evening of the Havana Nights, I'm going to try this. This is the Malibu Trouble. Malibu and chocolate, dark chocolate, and coconut toasted mm. on the outside. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, their desserts are just as good as their food. <laughs> <laughs> After a two and a half hour fun filled cruise, when they dock, you still have half an hour to enjoy the music. They've got some food out, cheese crackers, melons, so you can still have fun, get off and enjoy the view. And I'm telling you, if you have an opportunity to come on board the Infinity Ovation, it is a wonderful, wonderful time. Plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Go organic at Plymouth's annual Green Street Fair and spend a day out with Thomas at Greenfield Village. Create a one-of-a-kind gift for mom at the Glass Academy, then help Kid Rock save the Detroit Symphony. Pagliacci tells the tragic tale of a clown, and superheroes save the day at the Motor City Comic Con. Catch a ride to Frankenmuth with Motor City Brew Tours, then discover fine art at the village of Rochester Hills. Eastern Market's Flower Day is one of the largest flower shows in the country, and Art Birmingham celebrates its 31st year. Hart Plaza welcomes Movement, the Electronic Music Festival, and world-class racing returns to roar through the streets of Belle Isle. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. So it's getting warmer and we all want to get outside and play. We're completely surrounded by recreational opportunities right here in the D. So I'm going to pinpoint a few good places to enjoy the great outdoors. Hey, how about considering one of the D's 13 Metro Parks?
We're going to hear what a few of you have to say about the Metro Parks, and I'm going to chime in, too. Today's a beautiful day. Nice to be out here. Get in the minute we can and stay as long as we can. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's so clean and everybody's so nice. We just absolutely love it. Now, I love getting outside. Give me a Mai Tai, a Chase recliner, poolside, and I'm all set. But if you like getting down and dirty, this volunteer opportunity is going to be just your thing. We get people out into the environment, and it makes a huge difference in the parks. And I've been doing this for 20 years. We have volunteer work days at least once a month, and they do invasive species removal. Today we are at Hudson Mills working on an invasive um, autumn olive and buckthorn and honeysuckle cutting. The youngest one enjoys it the most, really goes after these giant shrubs and trees. Well, I guess that doesn't look so bad. I mean, they do say that hard work builds character. But on the other hand, if it sounds like fun to be outside chasing butterflies with your net, you know, the whole getting close to nature thing, then the Metro Parks have got you covered there, too. All the parks offer programs for um, children and families, both. We're doing our Nature Nuts program today, and that's our program for 6- to 10-year-old kids. Today our program is actually about uh, monarch butterflies. I really like it. I think I actually see one over there, but... This is Oakwood Nature Center. And this is a program called Tadpoles for two to five year olds. We have some activities and a craft and we always have some kind of a lesson that we're doing. This is Dana and she's been coming since she was two years old. She's now four and she has not missed a session. He learns so much every time we come. It's amazing that he tells us some of the things that he's learned at different times after we've already been here. They're awesome. Okay, so you can clean up parks, chase butterflies, learn about native species, all fun stuff, don't get me wrong. But my idea of a good time goes a little something like this. We're going canoeing today. Uh, we're starting out here at Hudson Mills. Hopefully you don't tip, but then again, if you do, you get to cool off a little bit, you know? It's a good break from the norm. Get down the river, it's good scenery. Swimming, boating, biking, jogging, hiking, now that's more up my alley. You want a little body surfing action? Lake Erie Metro Park three foot waves. Try that roller coaster ride. You've got your pool basketball, all kinds of water slides. Hey, and remember getting squirted by those hoses in your backyard when you were little? The Metro Parks have those too, only these hoses are a lot bigger. We cover all areas and all ages for things to do here. It's very exciting. We've got a lazy river, we've got water slides, we've got a dump bucket, we've got squirt things, a zero depth entry pool. Uh, we've even got lap lanes for people who want to swim laps in the morning. Why not jump into a canoe, rowboat, or kayak, or give your legs a workout on a paddle boat? Rentals are available at Kensington, Stony Creek, or Willow. You want a boat ride without the work? The Island Queen 2 at Kensington. Easy, take a tour of the lake, sit back and relax. And hey, if you've got a boat, Metro Beach, Lake Erie, Kensington, and Stony Creek all have boat launches. Or you can take a cruise on into one of the park's marinas. Metro Beach, they have eight ramps with access to Lake St. Clair. And then Lake Erie has access to the Detroit River and to Lake Erie. We love the marina. We've been here for 15 years, and we wouldn't even dream of going anywhere else. It's very clean. Everything is kept up so nicely. Right. Hey, now not all summer fun takes place in or on the water. Pack a basket and go on a picnic. You can go biking, jogging, skating. You can even go fishing. It's summer. It's warm. We've got 13 Metro Parks right here in the D.
thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.